What are the actual best pizza spots in all of NYC? Infatuation just ranked them, and a lot of the NYC internet is debating it. You know, I'm telling you, all these hipsters, they go on this site called Reddit, and they act like some nerds. They ain't even true New Yorkers. Uh, we got to talk about it, Andrew, because people are passionate about pizza, whether it's Eater, Grub Street, Thrillist, in this case, Infatuation dropped this list, Andrew. Reddit went crazy. Uh, we're going to break down pizza in general today, but especially in New York City. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. But you know what goes perfect on pizza? Small uh, sauce. It is currently sold out, but it will be back reinstocked. So... Please check it out when it does. It's amazing on pizza. I know people, they, listen guys, you've seen the videos. We've eaten at so many pizza spots. I'm not going to say all 20 on Infatuation's list, but the majority of them. Is it weird how passionate people are about pizza in New York City? Is it because everybody just grows up eating it since they were a kid, whether they're a transplant and they love that culture or they grew up here? Why are people like, they treat it like it's sports teams I, I still think new york is the epicenter of pizza in america even though some people say oh connecticut has some pizza spots that are better than new york's guys new haven when it comes to pizza though the culture is in new york city and so yes it is debated that's like that's like a list of like oh your best knicks players uh you know everybody's gonna debate do you agree with me that only in new york on people's like hinge profiles do people say oh let's talk about pineapple on pizza where <laughs> i just like man why would you have care yeah. about that when you're dating somebody yeah yeah definitely i mean david i think does part of the debate about this infatuation list first of all infatuation does have a lot of good lists that i sometimes do follow but is it because the authors are Brian Kim, Willa Moore, Kenny Yang, and Carlo Mantuano? And like a lot of like Asians. old school pizza spot people are going to be looking at it like, I got, you got two Asian fellas on there. Like, what do they really know about pizza? They still want to eat the scallop pancake or some naan, some Indian naan. That's what they want. I don't know. It's a good question, guys. We're going to get into the whole debate. Um, I do think that New York, interestingly enough, Andrew, is close enough to Europe and Italy where people tend to be hyper-provincial and hyper-traditionalist. You know, there's all these videos of this guy going to uh, Italy and he folded up his pizza and everybody's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? And they were like flipping out. So I feel like New York still has some of that. Um, Pizza fundamentally, Andrew, is super simple. It's bread, sauce, cheese, and toppings. New York Nico, who's a famous New York personality, is famous for saying all pizza is the same. I'm just going to eat whatever clo I'm closest to. Yeah. But other people on Reddit, they don't feel like that. Uh. Which, one, which side are you on? I mean, I think convenience is part of your... your, your th I mean, to be honest, I mean, if you're traveling an hour or you got to get on the train and do almost like a hour, like 40 minute trip to deep Brooklyn just to get pizza. It's good if you want to try it and explore culture and understand what that pizza tastes like, but there's no way it's actually worth it. I think that there is a culture of people who take a cheap train ride to go get a cheap slice of pizza. And that's their way of like breaking out of their shell. Yeah. It's a way of exploring, but like, come on, like, yes, whatever pizza is within a certain proximity of you that does matter and that matters to my opinion too because even if there's really good pizza over in the bronx it doesn't matter because i have pretty good pizza down here that's true and uh you're talking about the marginal difference it's not going to be worth the trip no i think pizza especially slices of pizza not just like sit down neapolitan with the fluffy crust and you get it in in, in the italian restaurant <laughs> I'm saying pizza slices, you have to take into consideration convenience to you. I think it's part of the break. For sure. I've never seen pizza culture like in New York City, though. The mm. People take it so serious here. I think people care about traditionality, nostalgia, the regional style, and or Detroit style, delicious, gets no love, toppings, the cool factor and the background heritage story, scarcity, availability. Once a spot has more than like two locations, Andrew, it's not good anymore, right? Yeah. Like, or it's or it's less good because it's just more common. Purists, they tend to go off the bread, the char, the oven, the seeds. You're you you care about this? You I care more about the bread. I think the bread is a lot. Listen, a lot of people can have the little pepperonis and and cheeses and stuff, but it's the care about the bread and not over burn or under burn or undercooked. Is that you know double I mean? O flour? Is that double O flour from Italy? Um, a lot of the best spots don't even serve slices at this point, right? 
That's true, right? Um, what do you think about people going off Dave Portnoy? Is Dave Portnoy the Jim Cramer of pizza picks, the way Jim Cramer makes stock picks, or is his opinion valid? I don't know. I... I mean, I think it's kind of valid, but he's not like a pizza expert. Literally, yeah, he just talks about the flop. I think the it's just because he's a harsh critic. That's all. It doesn't just because he's a harsh critic. It doesn't mean he's the right critic. Right. It doesn't mean that he's studied pizza or anything. But again, like that. you know, I think Dave Portnoy for his fan base is like an authority. He's very unscientific. Fan but base, if you right? don't care about his taste buds, then don't really listen to him. Um, I would say that there's a battle going on right now between new school spots uh, like Upside. You know, they're doing sourdough crust and they're getting their meats differently. And then the old school net New York spots like a Joe's or a NY Suprema mm -hmm. where people are like either with the new wave or the old wave. And they think the new wave is for the hipsters and the transplants and the old wave is for the native New Yorkers. Yo, man, I'm with the new wave. Mm, and I was thinking about this. The new waves, Andrew, they're, they're actually usually started by pr Ivy League private equity guys or chefs, or Ivy League guys hiring chefs, right? Because they have a lot of disposable capital. And think about it. They have all the prior knowledge from all the pizza spots that existed before. They have new technology and ovens. They could poach the best workers who are like the most disciplined and best quality control from all the other spots. So really, is it fair to say, because the 2.0, 3.0 wave spots, why wouldn't they be better than the spots from the 90s? I don't know. Do you care if it started by, if it's got venture capital funding or not I mean, right from like a food group i mean there there are some really good pizzas that i don't think had had venture capital funding like i don't know scars or something i don't know like if that. scars did i don't think lucia's did i i think that's family owned you know you're talking about even of the new wave yeah i mean I, honestly you, to start one pizza shop you don't need like a ton of money Right, but these chains, like an upside for sure, is a famous venture capital back. Right, 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 right. Um, I would say this, man. It's almost like comparing like Kith and Ame to like Fubu. Fubu came from New York from the '90s. Now we're at Kith and Ame is replaced Fubu, but it's still Urban Wear, right? Mm -hmm. Um, Saturdays NYC to DKNY. Uh, also, there's chains from Italy coming in, Andrew. Uh, Roman Milan style, you know, like colder slices. But I don't know if do you like those? The slices that's on Focaccia. Nah, not really. But I do know the new wave is generally a mixture between Roman and Neapolitan style. where the fluff, And New York style. Even though. for slice spots, they want the fluffier crust at the back, even for slice spots. Right, right, right. Which is more focaccia-esque, right? Um, some things that fell off. Andrew, everybody hates artichoke pizza in 2024. Opinions? Yeah, I don't like it. Crab slice, no? No. Prince Street obviously had a racism scandal. Prince Street's still pretty good. I'd still eat there. Yeah, you, it's good. It's good. Uh, Mike's Hot Honey went out of style. People are like, yo, quit putting the sweet syrup on it. Uh, it goes on certain slices. And uh, spots like Grimaldi's that uh, went national in America. People are like, yo, I'm not on Grimaldi's sure. anymore. Sure. I think Prince Street should have been on this list, in my opinion. Right. Prince Street, I, I'm sure they left it off because of the charges of racism from the owners, right? I guess, <laughs> I but imagine. nah, man, put the racist back on. Uh, somebody said, nothing is worth a line. There's always an acceptable alternative for no line for that food in NYC. Somebody just said, why would you wait in line for pizza? That's unbelievable. Yes and no. I mean, yes and no, but we're going to get into some comments from people who clearly would wait in line. Upside is the best pizza that I've had. I like their sourdough crust. Other people saying I don't like it. And other people mentioned in Grand Street, the reason I brought this up, Andrew, even though people said it's for the TikTok Nolita dirtbag transplants, is that you love those spots. It is good. It is good. But... What, what else is on the list? I mean, should we go through the list right now? Well, no, no. Let's just go through the spots that people are talking about. Poly G Slice Shop. <clears throat> I, last time I had it, I like it. I haven't had it in a while, though. I would say we know Poly G. We filmed a TV show out there a few years ago. I'd say this Poly G sit-down spot is way better than the Slice Spot. Yeah. But the Slice Spot got the vibes. I think this, this list should have been just Slice Spots. Right, because it's too I weird, it, right? You can't compare Slice Pizza... To fresh pizza straight out, like, at the Neapolitan spot. I, right. To me, it's or different. versus, like, Una Napolitana, which is, like, a chain mm -hmm. from Italy. Super expensive. It's hard. You got to buy a resi. Dude, New York slice spots are its own breed. That's my take. That's my take is that you cannot compare 
a slice spot where the, the slice is sitting there and then gets reheated. Oh, I, I, I go one further. I think you got to compare slice spots by tier of price. Like two bros got to be compared to another dollar slice spot. Oh, yeah. yeah I know, I would, but I'm saying two bros, in my opinion, is the best slice that's under two dollars. Yes, I agree. Yeah. Yeah, so it has to be by price point. Just like cars. You don't compare like a Camry to a BMW. Um, somebody said Detroit style doesn't get enough love because people in New York are too provincial about their styles. But Detroit style, how different is it from a Sicilian square slice? I think the texture is different to me because they're cooking Dude, in I'm a way smaller pan. I'm telling you, it's because they call it Detroit style. If they just called it something no, else. No, no, no. if they just different. called it something else. I, see, I'm not a, I didn't Google the difference, but I would say, you're right though. Detroit style was based off a of Sicilian square style. Yeah, slice. Sicilian. Yeah, was, um, Aces, <clears throat> Jets, I think are really good. Yeah. I think you can get a lot wackier toppings on Detroit style pizzas. For me, I think Detroit styles are underrated. Uh, people in New York hate Chicago deep dish. John Stewart famously went on a rant about it. Maybe we'll just play that right here. <laughs> um, but, but I, I don't love Chicago deep dish, and I have nothing against Chicago. Yeah, but Chicago deep dish is not good. Yeah, it just doesn't feel like pizza. It doesn't make sense. Uh, do you like Emmett's, which is the New York Chicago deep dish spot? No. Um, a lot of people are saying this is the new wave. The 3.0 is inventing your own brand new slice flavors, such as Finney's white ricotta lemon slice, they, where they give you a half lemon to squeeze on it, or their pepper shallot slice, or their cheeseless tomato slice. Yeah. How, do you like these artisanal, magricinal flavors, almost like uh, Lindustry, Fig and Jam? These are slices that nobody's ever seen anywhere in the world. I don't know. I mean, you always get the Fig and Jam at Lindustry. You like that one. Yeah, and I always get the ricotta... Uh, Finney too. Yeah, ricotta white good. slice. I don't even know what type of cheese is on there. Um, a lot of people were throwing shade at Best Pizza because the owner, the Italian guy, he had a show on Vice that was all about pizza. But then they're like, yo, I went to Best Pizza in Williamsburg and it was just burnt. Oh. Uh, I don't know. I ate there once. I wasn't in love with the pizza, so. Um, so much debate about scars. Some people saying, you know, it was just the perfect ratio, very subtly good. And other people is just saying, what the F? I do not get the hype behind it. Yeah, I think that's the interesting thing about pizza, man. Everybody's got their own opinion. Literally, it comes down to preference. I think of the top 10 spots, you they're all interchangeable depending on who you are. If somebody can't justify why they like a spot better than somewhere else, do they lose points? No, if they're I not able to point out... The sauce sweetness, <laughs> the sauce ratios, the type of cheese, the quality and of also, cheese, the burn. It depends on when you get in, who's making the pizza. Because sometimes not every slice at every spot all day long is the same. Right. They don't let the do dough rise enough, right? right. They don't let the they It's don't... still made by human hands. So sometimes the lazy worker came in on Tuesday. Now Tuesday's pizzas are yeah, messed up. Yeah, obviously if you have the owner in the house, the pizza's gonna be on point. I think that scars, it's really driven by this sort of like hype beast, like LES local streetwear brand. It's mm -hmm. right next to Awake NYC and all this stuff. Anyway, um, Joe's and NY Pizza Suprema are the old school staples that have been considered good since the 90s, but some people are saying their flavors in 2024 are outdated. Yeah, but Joe's is going to do fine. I don't really think I had Suprema. I don't like Suprema that much. Joe's is way better. You know what I think? It, it, it just reminds me because I started going to a lot of chicken. We, we, we went to a lot of chicken tender spots recently because that's become a thing, right? Chicken tenders, it's, it's just... People are elevating them. I think people go get chicken tenders and people go to pizza spots for the vibe. Yeah. And Joe's got the vibes. Yeah. Because it's tourists, it's locals, it's kids. And the pizza's good enough. Like, I don't think it's the best pizza, but it's good enough where if you want that vibe and everybody's down for Joe's, what are you going to push and be like, oh, yo, no, let's, let's all take an Uber 10 minutes this way and grab this slice of pizza. It's like, dude, dude, just like it's in the flow. These basic foods that you can find on a middle school cafeteria menu... It's about the vibes. Once the food hits like six out of 10 yeah. and the vibes are 10 out of 10, people are going to weigh the vibes. People are talking about how DeForest fell off. Uh, is it true that once spots enter, they have one spot, now they have five, the, like all of them, all the other four expansion spots suck? It's, it's possible, yeah. Yeah, because they're not just taking care of it. A lot of debates about cuts and slices because people are like, oh, man, you can't just took, take Trinidadian food or, like, Caribbean food and then put it on a Costco slice. But other people are like, 
oh, I support cuts and slices, even though obviously they do have like some slices that are that I want to say are like fifteen dollars. I support it. Yeah, no, I mean it's cool. I th- I think it deserves to be on this list. That's fine. Yeah, no, I mean I support cuts and slices, but it is it's different because it's I mean, like, but it's you're, like it's good, like eighteen dollars. But you're slice. comparing Neapolitan pizza restaurants to slice spots, and so it's like what I, I mean, cuts and slices is a slice spot. Yeah, quit. I'm supporting wacky ethnic ingredients on pizza. I'm supporting it. I love it. I wish there was more of it. There needs to be more of it. Um, people are just saying, man, this list comes out every three months. Everybody argues over it, and it's the same all the time with just a few additions. And then, of course, somebody just said it just goes by the style. And then, of course, people were talking about all the chains that have opened up in the past three years that have multiple locations changing the whole landscape. Andrew Traditas, Made in New York Pizza, Zazzy's, Marinara Pizzas, Monero. Ultimately, man, what is your thought on this? Why do people treat pizza like the Knicks or why they, everybody's got an opinion on rotations, coaching changes, who shot usage rate distribution, whether you know anything about pizza or not. Well, isn't, if you know a lot about pizza, isn't that kind of some New York credibility? Like that's why people like it, right? Because it shows, you know, something about something that everybody cares about. You're saying, is that like knowing your train lines, like without needing to look at Google it? Yeah, to get respect in New York as a sports fan, you just need to really know about New York sports. Now, people are going to realize that you don't know about other teams, but if you just know about New York sports teams and you're like a big New York fan, that's going to be good enough. You know what I mean? So it's just, you got to have opinions about pizza because opinions is like, it's like uh, it, it's like having subway stories of your own. You know, you got to have some subway stories. No, that is, stories. that is, it is New York credit yeah, to have you subway got, stories. You got to have subway stories, right? You got to have train stories. You got to have MTA stories. You know, oh, this one time the MTA was backed up or this one time I saw this person. This like I saw a happened. fight on a day. Yeah, this, right? this one time it was flooding, blah, blah, blah. It's like, yeah. So um, I think that people treat pizza like a tribal marker of who they want to be around, almost like cocktail bars. You know how like people are just like, oh, what type of cocktail bar person are you? Hype, old school, new school, or what's your drink? You know how people judge people on their drinks? <coughs> like I think that just pizza is such like this. It means so much more than the bread, the sauce, the yeah, cheese, and yeah, the toppings. I, I it like wish, means a lot more about your identity. I wish what they did on this list, and maybe this is something that I would do, is attach the demo, the main distinct demographic of each pizza spot. So, not every pizza spot has a super distinct uh, a clientele, but I would say like Lindustry, you know, uppity white people and girl, uppity white girls. Yes. Right? That's the distinct, that's, no, that's a group that you see go there that you do not see right, at other spots. The fancy French bakery crowd, Lindustry is the only pizza slice spot they would go to yeah the, like the people would pay like 12 dollars for a croissant yeah i mean there's spots like i would say lb spumoni and like joe's that are pretty like catch everybody like everybody's gonna try normie. it mm. normie but like at know. scars are you gonna agree andrew you're gonna find the most expensive pair of sneakers it's gonna be on more hipster scars. like everybody's there is gonna have a favorite rap album everybody likes kanye yeah everybody likes yeah. old kanye at least chop up the soul kanye um i'll just say this man i'm shocked that people in new york take traditional pizza that serious but like we said there's probably a lot more identitarian sort of implications and you know symbolism tied into it let us know what you think of our opinions on other people's opinions we got the uh, infatuation link listed down below. I think it's an interesting exploration. I want to see more ethnic pizza. Shout out to Cuts and Slices. Shout out to, I know there's an a Indian slice spot out in Queens. I forgot the name. Crave? Crave. Yes, Crave, where they got uh, chicken tiki masala butter chicken pizzas. I love that because on the West Coast, in California, and in Seattle, people putting Al Pastor, ranch, all types of things on pizza. But on the East Coast, they take it serious. Until next time, we the Hot Pot Boys. We out. Peace.